Hello everyone and welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. This is our Let's Play The Sims Mobile episode 29. In episode 13, I decided to start a 100 baby challenge where I was retiring Sims purely for heirlooms. They are generation 4 and I hang on to Icon and Pecan who are my favorite Sims. They are the ones giving birth to all these babies <laughs> that are retired and dressed in white. However, some of them are not leaving anything behind. They are leaving heirlooms behind, but it doesn't show up in the list here. Now, this guy, I forgot to change before retiring him, so I do apologize for that. They're all meant to be in white, and they represent the 100 Baby Challenge. So I've got 12 of these heirloom sims here. Uh, well, not yet. I've just retired a sim, and he's going to join this team, <laughs> and that makes it 12. And I'm wondering, and I'm quite curious to know what will happen when I retire number 13. I'm thinking maybe it'll say you can't retire any more sims into this generation because it only holds 12 in a generation for some reason. I'm not sure about this, but we'll see how that works out when I retire another sim. So in the next episode, I'll be able to tell you if you can retire more than 12 sims into a generation. So I'm ready to promote one more sim and then get Icon and Pecan busy creating more babies for that 100 baby challenge. Um, so he's the one here, boss, who has just been uh, retired and left an heirloom for me. So I have to move him out so that he can go on and join uh, the fourth generation 100 baby challenge sims. So here he is and we have a full screen for all 12 of them. He left me a repeat heirloom, so I sold off the repeat and it just came up as blank. And I'm going to see what happens when I retire number 13 into generation 4. I'd love to see what message it would give me or whether they would shrink down in size and it'll just fit in. But this is uh, Pecan's parents, Hazel and Patron. And generation 1 is Almond and Legend, that's Icon's parents. So. Pecan and Icon are essentially Generation 3. They have never been retired, but we keep retiring their children, and that's the heirloom sims in Generation 4. So I'm just going to promote one of the sims here so that I can get them started on a career and a hobby and possibly a relationship. But it really doesn't matter because as soon as they're ready to retire, even if they're not at level 10 on any of those um, projects, I just retire them anyway. So I'm obviously speeding up to get him ready. He's quite hunky and chunky and I don't mind the way he looks. It's quite nice. Don't need to adjust anything. And I don't, you know, get really stuck into trying to make them look as lovely as possible because I don't want to be attached. That's how I got stuck into the theory. And now I have to keep retiring just one sim at a time and that's made it so slow. <laughs> But you never know, I might retire the fairy. I'm a little bit disappointed. I haven't been able to get the sort of fairy outfit that I want from Izzy's um, fashion store. But you know, I think I might hold on to her. I don't know, but I'll, I'll keep her for now. So now we're ready. And obviously what happens now is I have to give him a trait. Um, and I think a bit better at all careers is usually the best way to go so that they can get started getting bonuses and advancing as fast as possible. Here he is. Hello and welcome to the Brown household. Get busy and get me an heirloom. Hopefully not a repeat. <laughs> now I need to get him to start a job, say at the hospital. I wonder if some of you out there have gotten the surgeon career <laughs> i didn't i just was really annoyed that i had to pay six pounds and 99 pence to get the heirloom it should have been a quest of some sort so i refused to do that not because i wouldn't spend that sort of money but i just don't like being asked to <laughs> So I've got him started with that career. I'm going to send every one of my sims to work as well. She has been working in the fashion career and if you notice she has a new outfit with those wings. That came from Izzy as well. So I swapped her into this one instead of that horrible hideous skirt that she had initially. This is much better and it's green as well. I wanted her to be a green fairy of some sort. Now here is my lovely Pecan who's pregnant yet again. <laughs> For another baby uh, and I think I'll send her to work and I'll also send Icon to work and what you find is that when you send them to work you can still bring them home and interact with them in different ways so here she is working um, and then I'm gonna call over her husband 
icon to get to work but there's a movie in the park event going on i'll get him to do that instead <laughs> it helps me with the daily to-do list uh, so he'll do that um so now they're all working i will then just call them all back <laughs> so i get more than one thing done at the same time i don't know if this is a glitch in the game but this is how i've been doing it so i can get more than one thing done at the same time so let's get them to have a baby <laughs> and this is essentially what they have to do to stay alive and never be retired this is the secret to their immortal life <laughs> oh dear now look at what i found here i can get this golden good trait for 50 heirloom tickets just the normal heirloom tickets i was completely shocked when i saw this and i knew i was going to get to this part so I want to purchase it and quickly add it to my collection maybe it's a mistake but i thought that you would need you know super heirloom tickets to buy gold so this is my first first gold and i'm glad i got it just in time because it's just a few minutes before it's over um and it won't be in the market for purchase anymore so i've got the gold benevolence charm um and that will be my first gold heirloom ever <laughs> I am so excited that I have that and maybe from here on out I'm just going to keep looking forward to changing all the heirlooms in my heirloom display case to gold. So there, just two more minutes left on that. So obviously by the time you're watching this video you won't be able to purchase it if you haven't done so already. So there it is, good at level three and that's beautiful. Well alright then. Ah, now I have gone through all the details of my heirloom sims and one question I always get asked is how I have a lot of energy for Icon and Pecan. I basically just get them to eat cupcakes and it just increases their energy and I give it to them in turns. So whoever's got less than the other in energy gets to eat the cupcake. So she's next in line for a cupcake and that's basically what I do. And of course I don't use them to do anything. I don't actively get them to finish their tasks so the energy saves up the other thing is we have the photography outfits pack that is in the store at the moment for 450 cash i'm not really interested in this but if you are then of course post pictures on the facebook page and let me see what's <laughs> what it's about and this is just something that's been in the game from the beginning but i didn't bother buying it it's just there <laughs> I have a large number of friends. I've been deleting them because tons and tons of them haven't played in days or even months. So I've been removing them because I had 269 friends or 50, which is really not necessary. I've decided in the end. <laughs> so I've been removing individuals who haven't been playing for days so that I can create space for individuals who are playing and who are asking to be on my friend list and i obviously want to play with those who are actively in the game i mean i eventually got rid of someone who was 162 days out on playing in the game <laughs> can you imagine that <laughs> there's no need having them in the list so i've been flushing them out <laughs> and as you can see i'm down to 143 of 50 and i'll keep doing that but it slows the game down when you start deleting them sometimes it even crashes so i'll finish weeding out non-player friends after i'm done with the recording i'm away on summer holiday in three days time so this is the last upload until i get back at the end of august thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye